for lesson four, we are going to be looking at how to use the axis rings to scale and rotate an object. This is a really effective tool to use when you start to add multiple shapes into your scene, add shapes together and add outside USDZ files into a scene. You will find you will use these simple tools constantly, especially when you start making complex scenes and behavior action sequences. When we tap on a shape, we can see our X, Y, and Z arrows that we can tap on and hold and use to move our shape around. So back and forth and up and down and side to side. Each of the axis also has a matching colored ring. So if I'm on the green arrow, if I tap and hold on the ring and I twirl it around, my shape should rotate. If I tap on the red arrow, I might need to just rotate through the space a bit, tap and hold on the ring and drag it around. Tap on the blue arrow. Again, rotate through the space by tapping and holding and moving on the screen. Tap and hold on the blue ring and drag it around to rotate. You can also use these rings to scale an object. So over on the side transform panel, we can scale by dragging the slider up and down, or I can tap and hold on this ring and drag it up and back in again to scale. And this gives me a much larger a much smaller scale. Sometimes it can get muddled up between rotating and scaling. If this happens, just tap off and deselect your object tap on and you might either need to zoom in or out or just twirl it around a bit and try again.